we're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Tide Not Travelers. We left our home and jobs behind us and boarded a one-way flight. But the global pandemic caused us to rethink our travel plans. So we spent six months exploring Estonia. Now we're finally continuing our travels, taking a new route and exploring some of the Greek islands. Between us, we have visited 52 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. Good morning. Good morning from sunny Santorini. Today we have just driven into Thera to park up and we're gonna head off out on a boat. <laughs> Got a really exciting day ahead, so we're gonna head down to the old town harbour or the old the old port and we're gonna jump on a boat and head across the caldera to the volcano. The one we've been looking out at since we got here. Planning to do this trip and today it's happening. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Apparently over in the volcano there's hot springs and you can go for a swim. And then after we've explored the volcano and you go across to the island on the west side of the caldera. So we got tickets yesterday and it's 26 euros per person. 27 euros per person and that includes boat over to the volcanic island and over to the second island as well. So we're going to head down to the harbour now and go and jump on the boat. So we've just met up with the rest of our group that are going across to the volcano today. We've all got our tickets. I'm not sure if we're going to get the funicular down to the harbour or walk down the steps, but it is a stunning day. As you can see, the cold era over to my left. And this is where we watch the sunset in Thera. headpiece his little decoration i love how all the donkeys over here it seems so happy and so healthy looking and well looked after I've noticed that walking around these guys look pretty happy and healthy mm -hmm. nice to see <laughs> So as you might have guessed by now, we've opted to take the wiggly path all the way down to the harbour. It takes quite a long time actually, it is a long path down. I think the funicular is about seven euros per person, or the cable car. But yeah, if you struggle to walk in any way, then would definitely suggest taking the cable car. Hey with you. Okay. Hello. Oh. Hello. You guys. Hello. Oh. oh. Our boat has arrived to take us over to the volcano. It's beautiful. What a cute boat, so nice. Jim. Yeah, I feel like we're getting on a pirate ship for the day. <laughs> Let's go on a pirate ship and go see a volcano. <laughs> what a day, excited for this. Temperature check done. <laughs> We've been temperature checked and we're allowed on the boat. Yes, yes.
we have arrived at the volcano. Where is the Welcome to the National Park of Nia Kameni. just got off the boat onto the volcano the crossing from the old port was about 20 minutes and it's just beautiful yeah basically sailing around the vent of a volcano first impressions are it's cool it's incredible <laughs> all the lava around is amazing yeah we have about an hour and 45 minutes here before the boat leaves and we have to jump back on to go to the next island yeah behind me is the inactive crater that erupted 430 years ago and created all the island and we're now going to walk about 10 minutes up to the active crater which I only just found out about on the boat didn't know I was coming to an active crater today <laughs> all the uh, landscape that you're seeing all of it is lava there's nothing other than lava here just solidified lava that's insane this entire island that we're standing on is just lava volcano <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna walk up now, 10, 15 minutes, and go see an active volcano. the structure of Santorini the way it's positioned right in the center and you've got the rest of Santorini and its villages overlooking around the edge it's just so picturesque and beautiful As you can see now we've arrived at the active vent you can actually see it smoking yeah you can smell it as well it smells very sulfuric so, yeah, as you yeah. Can imagine uh, actually apparently it was 1956 the last time it erupted so this date is getting closer and closer <laughs> <laughs> until yeah, a different date it's a current so day. either way i'm like okay so that's like 64 years ago <laughs> it's looking pretty dormant apart from the steam behind us the smoke behind us yeah you can see some see. some volcanic activity there yeah. it's quite mild at the moment hopefully it stays that way amazing to see yeah. we stood within a few meters of an active volcano vent yeah loving life <laughs> which i didn't know i was signing up for this this morning i thought it was a dormant volcano <laughs> so i went to buy the tickets and kirsty stayed at home yeah. <laughs> amazing We've got the geological monitoring stations here as well. There's a lot of seismic monitoring kit that's set up and uh, drilled into the ground. All solar powered as well, which is great to see. So they can monitor the volcano. Just walking through this gap. So to my right hand side here, that's the main part that's uh, smoking. But even down here, there's a little hole and you can see some smoke coming out of there. So the rock is pretty warm here and it's not because of the sun. We've walked around to the other side of the active vent. Amazing views here, absolutely stunning. And if you can see just over my head, Thera perched on top of the edge of the caldera. And just amazing views here from the very center of Santorini. Certainly in the center here, you're just on the volcano surrounded 
by the rest of the island. It's just such a unique place. So, just to clarify, the tour guide has just cleared things up a bit for me. The last time this volcano erupted was in fact in 1945. However, in 1956 there was an earthquake and that's what shattered everything and killed lots of people. So it is in fact 75 years ago that the last time this erupted. Uh, now we're going to head back to the boat that we're on and we're going to sail over to the next island. But all of this land that we're standing on was all created 3,600 years ago when uh, the volcano erupted and the sea that you see behind me between where we stood and that piece of land over there sunk. It's now two kilometres below the surface of the ocean. It created these five small islands, one of which we stood on, and we stood on the active part, obviously, <laughs> of the volcano. Uh, and yeah, all the rest of it has all been created as a result of that happening, the whole entire volcanic island of Santorini. So yeah, pretty awesome. We're going to now head over and there's like some hot springs that we're going to swim in but you have to jump into the water which is really cold, about 14 degrees this time of year and then you swim about 50 meters and then the temperature increases to about 25 degrees so it's just kind of jump in, swim for it <laughs> and get to the warm shallow bit so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. western side of Santorini here and just over my head on the southernmost tip of Santorini you can see Akrotiri Lighthouse where we visited the other day. There's the island just over there that we're going to jump on the boat and head over to now. On the northernmost part of the island there is Oya. Beautiful. Made it back to the boat on time. So we're on the boat now, uh, leaving the volcano and just sailing around to the other side of the volcano to go to the hot springs. And we have about 30 minutes there to explore, but we forgot our GoPro casing and floaty stuff, so hopefully Craig's not going to drop the GoPro. <laughs> going to hold on for dear life. <laughs> We've arrived at the hot springs, it's time to take the plunge. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too far to swim, just over there. So we're getting in here and swimming over to the springs there. That looks so nice over there. Is it nice? <laughs> I see some fish already. It's nice. We're good? Yeah. Alright, here goes. Hopefully I'll come back up with the GoPro. See what up. Oh. Good. Had a good grip. So nice in here. It's warmer as you go towards the source of the spring, which is up there. It's also pretty slippery. <laughs> and it looks like people are actually rubbing the mud all over themselves and the minerals. Let's go and do that. We can smell how metallic it is. Yeah. <laughs> we can get some. Here we go. Got a good amount of it here, but yeah, it smells so metallic. <laughs> How are we going to get this How do I look? <laughs> 
Beautiful. I'm going to come out of this looking 15 again. Beautiful. <laughs> when can do and see if it comes off? Um, 15 year old body. And you just look tan. <laughs> <laughs> you look orange. Thank you, Cece. Another 20 minutes later, and we're on the west side of Santorini on the island of Thirassia. And apparently, here there's some lovely shops and tavernas. We're gonna get some lunch because we're, we're starving. It's <laughs> half past one now. You can walk all the way to the top over there and see the views across Santorini. You can also go for a swim in the harbour here because it's beautiful, it's crystal really clear beautiful, water. Yeah. We found this lovely little restaurant called Captain John's right on the waterfront. We're all gonna sit together over there and have lunch. Dogs and cats around as well. We've got a cat that's come over and sat with us for lunch. Just down here. We're right by the water's edge. Hey buddy, want some food? Other than the main island of Santorini, Thrasia is the only island in the Santorini caldera that is inhabited. It has a population of around 300 people. The island lies northwest of Nia Kemeni, the uninhabited active volcanic island that we just walked around. There are five islands in total in the flooded Santorini caldera, including the mainland island of Santorini, Nia Kemeni, Palia Kemeni, Aspronissi, and Thrasia. The Santorini caldera has been designated a decade volcano due to its history of large, destructive eruptions and proximity to populated areas. Oh, we've got full stomachs. That was a really, really nice lunch. Like we said, there's quite a few places to choose from and there's various souvenir shops and things here. Really nice vibe here, everyone's so friendly and our waiter in the restaurant was lovely as well. And now we're going to get back to the boat because it's about to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have stayed as long as possible. We've pushed it. In fact, a similar looking boat just pulled out of the harbour and Kirsty gave lot. everyone the shock of their lives. <laughs> yeah, ah. I was like, our boat's moving. <laughs> yeah, luckily our boat was just behind it and we're about to get on it. So. But to be fair, it is it's gone 3.18 yeah. and our boat's supposed to leave a Yeah, I looked Lovely exploring. You can go take that walk to the top of the hill as well and see over the western side across the Mediterranean from Santorini. Time to get on the boat now and head back to Thera.
fantastic trip. We're back at Pira, Old Harbour. It's time to go home. Have a nice time, thank you very much. And just like that, we're back on the mainland of Santorini. What an awesome day and all before four o'clock. Time to head back, you can see how steep this island is. And yeah, you can get a donkey back up for five euros or you can get the cable car straight back up for seven euros. But we're gonna walk it, I think. We might get the cable car, but we'll see. See how we feel. If you come to Santorini, we highly recommend Caldera boat sailing off behind us there. The actual tour guide, she was fantastic, really knowledgeable. Also, she just was able to flip between three or four different languages so easily and quickly. Here's our little puppy friend again. Hello. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Hey, <laughs> These guys are amazing. They've got the best view. These donkeys have the best view. Yeah. They're just all lined up here ready for sunset. So we just had to run past these donkeys because we started peeing and uh, yeah, going for a number two just as we went past. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of ran quickly to make sure we didn't get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> Timing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good place to wrap up today's yeah, video we'll really. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the video today. What an adventure. We absolutely love Santorini. Beautiful. And what an incredible thing to be able to sail on a boat around a volcano. And yeah, thanks for watching and if you liked it too, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And Please do. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Just drop us a message and say hi Craig and Kirsty. We'd love to hear from you. And we will see you on the next video. See you next time Bye. on the next video. Join us next time for our 10 years, 10 questions special. We'll be doing the famous 10 kilometer Caldera hike from Ia to Thera while stopping along the way to answer the top 10 questions from some of you. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at Tidenot Travelers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. Oh, that was having a pee. <laughs> I think we're gonna wait. Yeah. Oh no, it's all trickling down. <laughs> <laughs> to his buddies. Oh. And to us. Volcano kids. Oh no! <laughs> Kiss attack! <laughs> no. no, I'm keen, you're so muddy! <laughs>